I am here to call bullshit on compromise. The Black Swan Group is here to call bullshit on compromise. When I get to the end of this video, I'll tell you what to do instead. But here's why we want you to be worried about compromise. Compromise is nonsense. Compromise is splitting the difference. What's wrong with splitting the difference? Well, there's an old saying in negotiation. The person that offers to meet you in the middle is often a poor judge of distance. People are going to ask for too much. People are going to ask for way more than what they want because they think they get you to compromise, meet them in the middle, when in fact you gave them what they wanted all along. They just conned you into believing that it was fair. The next problem with compromise. As human beings, when we give, our reaction is emotionally we've given way more than we actually did. Danny Kahneman won the Nobel Prize in Prospect Theory in 2002, which states that a loss stings twice as much as an equivalent gain. So if we give up $5 in a negotiation, we're not going to feel right about it till we get $10 in return. And then when we take them for $10, they're going to have to get us back by $20 before they feel right about it. The compromise then becomes a death spiral. It's one of the stupid reasons that some people say that negotiations leave both sides unhappy. Well, do you compromise your principles? Do you compromise your integrity? Is a great marriage when both sides are unhappy? No, that just that doesn't make any sense. Let's call bullshit on compromise. If you think about compromising, are you absolutely sure that you and the other side are talking about the same thing? So I promised you at the beginning of this video, I'd tell you what to do instead of compromising. Here's what you want to do. First of all, make sure everybody's on the same page. And the only way you can do that is with a great summary. Summarize the situation. Summarize the situation from the other person's point of view. If you're summarizing and you've done it right, the other side is going to say, that's right. Keep summarizing, especially from their perspective, especially the parts that you don't want to talk about or the parts that you don't like. A great summary includes that stuff, especially focusing on the stuff about you that you know that they don't like. The negatives, the bad stuff. You haven't done a great summary if you don't get a that's right out of the other side. Then when you get a that's right, shut the heck up. Use dynamic silence. Let silence kick in. Let your summary kick in. See if out of the blue, they don't give you what you want. See if out of the blue, they don't come up with a great idea that works for you. The best time to get the other side to give you what you want, the art of negotiation, is letting the other side have your way. The most likely time they're going to let you have your way is after you've done a great summary and you've gotten a that's right out of the other side. Get a that's right out of the other side, especially when you feel like you might need to compromise or especially when you feel like you might need to make some sort of move. The great move from your side is understanding and see if that doesn't take care of the need to compromise.